Since 1986, the PACOM Jim Thorpe Award annually recognizes the best defensive back in college football. The award is based on performance on the field, athletic ability, and I stress, character. As such, it is considered one of the most coveted awards in college football. And full disclosure here, I am one of the PACOM Jim Thorpe Award Selection Committee members. The 2019 watch list includes 46 of the nation's best slot corners, cornerbacks, safeties, rovers, all of the above under defensive back, representing 10 conferences and one independent. The preseason watch list is selected by a screening committee who compiles a list of 30 to 50 players. This list is not final, and players who have outstanding seasons are added as the season progresses. The winner is selected from three finalists and will be announced at the Home Depot College Football Awards presented by Gildan on Thursday, December 12th, 2019 on ESPN. The Paycom Jim Thorpe Award Commemorative Banquet will be held Tuesday, February 4th, 2020 in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. It is a swanky affair. That's all in the press release. Here's what ain't. Three of the last four and four of the last six winners of the Paycom Jim Thorpe Award have been selected in the first round of the NFL Draft. And one of the two who weren't is Desmond King. He was named first team all pro last season as one of the best defensive backs in the world or this side of Hala, depending on how you want to look at it. And good defensive back play is even more important than a good pass rush, according to the mathematicians and data scientists at Pro Football Focus. They found that not only does pass coverage explain team success better than pass rushing, but it predicts it better as well. This helps explain why the winningest team in the league, New England Patriots, has used its only two big name defensive free agent signings on cornerbacks over the past decade, Stephon Gilmore and Darrell Rivas, and why defensive end Trey Flowers is currently a Detroit Lion. One need only to go back to last year's playoffs to see how the quick passing game of today's NFL mitigates even the strongest pass rush, with the Patriots racking up 78 points en route to the Super Bowl, despite facing the vaunted pass rushers on the Chargers and Chiefs. The caveat to this finding? As a trade, coverage tends to be less stable year to year. The upshot, invest a lot in coverage so that some subset of five or six of these players gives you an elite group. And the Paycom Jim Thorpe Award Selection Committee is the best at finding out who needs to lead your DBs. Just check the list, man. You know the name. Since 1986, Benny Blades, Ricky Dixon, Deion Sanders, Terrell Buckley, Antonio Langham, Chris Hudson, Antoine Winfield, Charles Woodson, Lawrence Wright, Derek Strait, Roy Williams, Terrence Newman, Carlos Rogers, Michael Huff, Aaron Ross, Eric Berry, Patrick Peterson, Mo Claiborne. We can keep going all the way up to Minka Fitzpatrick in 2017 and DeAndre Baker, the reigning Paycom Jim Thorpe Award winner. While there are three Big 12 players on the watch list this year, Jeff Gladney at TCU, A.J. Green at Oklahoma State, and Greg Eisworth at Iowa State, no player in the Big 12 has won since I graduated high school in 2006. But from 2001 to the year I turned 18, five out of six winners played in a 12-team league run by Oklahoma. I contend you want to see a Big 12 winner of the Paycom Jim Thorpe Award, you're going to have to start winning national championships again as a conference, which means Oklahoma, you're up.